Welcome to Step by Step, a video Bible study series presented by the Monte Vista Church of Christ in Phoenix, Arizona. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17, the Apostle Paul says, All Scripture is inspired of God and it is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, so that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly equipped for every good work. There in those verses, the Apostle Paul is making the point that when it comes to the Bible, the Bible is special. The Bible is unique. The Bible is an extraordinary book because it comes from God. It comes from the mind of God. In fact, it is the only book on the face of the planet that comes from the mind of God. The Bible comes from our Creator. The question is, how often do you read your Bible? How often do you study your Bible? Do you know how to study your Bible properly? In this particular video, I want to give you four important rules for good Bible study. And the first rule is this. The first rule for good Bible study is to respect the Bible. Respect the text. Respect what Paul says in 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. And that is the fact that the Bible, every part of the Bible comes from God. Respect the fact that every verse, every sentence, every word, it all comes from God. Whenever you open up your Bible and you start reading and studying it, understand you're not reading just an ordinary book. You're not reading thoughts that come from the mind of a man. Instead, you're reading thoughts that come from God. Approach the Bible always with great honor and respect. But then that leads us to a second rule for good Bible study. And that is, must not only we respect the Bible or respect the text, we must also respect the context. We must also respect the context for every verse in the Bible. When we say context, we're talking about the background or the setting of verses. We're talking about how whenever we read a verse or verses from the Bible, we need to ask questions like who is speaking? Who are they speaking to? When are they speaking? We have to avoid making verses mean just whatever we want them to mean. A great example of why this is important is found in passages like John 16, verses 12 through 15. In John chapter 16, beginning with verse number 1, or verse number 12, I'm sorry, John 16 and verse 12, Jesus says this. He says, I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you and to all truth, for he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will disclose to you what is to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of mine and disclose it to you. All things that the Father has are mine, therefore I said that he takes of mine and will disclose it to you. These verses that I just read are often abused in the religious world. So often people go to these verses and believe and suggest that Jesus is talking to us. He is talking to believers today. He is saying that the Holy Spirit will guide us and inspire us today. Tell us exactly where to go and, and what to do and how to behave in a direct way in our lives. Many people go to these verses and think that in them, Jesus is saying that the Holy Spirit continues to speak to believers even today. But when you study the context of these verses carefully, you see that that is not what Jesus is saying. Jesus is not speaking to future followers of his today in these verses. Instead, in the context, he's talking to the apostles. He's saying that after he left them and ascended to heaven, he was going to send the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth to the apostles and the apostles would be inspired and guided by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will reveal to them all the truth, all the things that Jesus taught them. And they in turn would write these things down so that we could know them and understand them today. And so John 16, 12 through 15 is a great section of scripture that shows us the importance of always keeping verses in their 
context. Good Bible study involves respecting the text, respecting the context. But then a third rule for good Bible study is also considering other texts. Considering other texts text whenever studying verses in the Bible. You see, it is often a huge mistake to go to the Bible and read one verse about a matter and think that that one verse settles the issue. It settles the matter. We see this when we look at John 3 and verse 16. In John 3 and verse 16, Jesus says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So often people go to this verse, John 3, verse 16, and they say, see, Jesus says we have to believe in him. That's all we have to do to be saved according to this verse. There are two problems with that line of thinking. First, Jesus never says only believe in this verse. He never says that all we have to do or we only have to believe in order to be saved. But secondly, in addition to that, another problem with that line of thinking is there are other verses in the Bible that we must consider when it comes to the issue of salvation. John 3 verse 16 is not the only verse that deals with this matter. We need to also consider Mark 16 and verse 16 where Jesus says, He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. Acts 2.38 Repent and be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins. Acts 22 and verse 16, arise and be baptized, having your sins washed away, calling on the name of the Lord. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, where Paul says we must confess Jesus as Lord in order to be saved. You see, whenever studying the Bible, we must always consider all the Bible says on a given subject matter. This is especially important when it comes to the topic of salvation. In fact, this brings us to the fourth and final rule for good Bible study that we need to consider, and that is the need to always make application. Application to read the Bible, study it, but also apply the teaching to our lives. Jesus makes this point in the book of Luke. In Luke, the 10th chapter, in Luke chapter 10, after Jesus told his famous parable about the Good Samaritan, remember the parable of the Good Samaritan was about a man, a Samaritan man who helped a Jewish man who had been beaten and robbed and left to die. Well, after Jesus told that famous parable in Luke 10 and verse 36, he asked the man that he told the parable to, which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell into the robber's hands. And he said, the one who showed mercy toward him. Then Jesus said to him, go and do the same. Notice how in addition to telling the parable of the Good Samaritan, Jesus also says that we need to practice, practice the parable. Do what the man in the parable did. Bible say doesn't do us any good if we don't put the teaching into practice in our lives. Jesus says, go and do it. Go and apply my teachings to your everyday life. And so in addition to reading the Bible and studying the Bible, we also have to practice it. These are the rules for good Bible study. And may God bless you as you do your best to read and properly study his word every day. Thanks for watching. For more online Bible study material or to find more episodes in this series, visit us on our website at montavista.church.